Shemot, Exodus 4. And Moshe answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, Yahuwah has not appeared unto you. And Yahuwah said unto him, What is that in your hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moshe fled from before it. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Put forth your hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that Yahuwah Elohai of the, their fathers, the Elohai of Avraham, the Elohai of Yitzhak, and the Elohai of Yaakov has appeared unto you. And Yahuwah said furthermore unto him, Put now your hand into your bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, Put your hand into your bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again, and plucked it out of his bosom, and behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe you, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto your voice, that you shall take of the water of the river and pour it upon the dry land. And the water which you take out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. And Moshe said unto El Yahuwah, O oh my Adonai, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore nor since you have spoken unto your servant. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And Yahuwah said unto him, Who has made man's mouth? Or who makes the dumb, or the deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I, Yahuwah? Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth, and teach you what you shall say. And he said, O oh my Adonai, send, I pray you, by the hand of him whom you will send. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Moshe, and he said, Is not Aharon the Livii your brother? I know that he can speak well, and also, behold, he comes forth to meet you. And when he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. And you shall speak unto him, and put at the words in his mouth, and I will be with your mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you at what ye shall do. And he shall be your spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to you, instead of a mouth, and you shall be to him, instead of Elohim. And you shall take at this rod in your hand, wherewith you shall do at signs. And Moshe went and returned to Yitro, his father-in-law, and said unto him, Let me go, I pray you, and return unto my brethren, which are in Mitzrayim, and see whether they be yet alive. And Yitro said to Moshe, Go in peace. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe in Midian, Go, return into Mitzrayim, for all the men are dead which sought at your life. And Moshe took at his woman and at his sons and set them upon an ass, and he returned to the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe took at the rod of Elohim in his hand. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, when you go to return into Mitzrayim, see that you do all these, rather those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in your hand. 
but I will harden at his heart that he shall not let at the people go. And ye shall say unto Pharaoh, Thus says Yahuwah, Yasharel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto you, Let at my son go, that he may serve me. And if you refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay at your son, even your firstborn. And it came to pass by the way in the inn that Yahuwah met him and sought to kill him. Then Sipporah took a sharp stone and cut off at the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet and said, Surely a bloody man are you to me. So he let him go. Then she said, A bloody man you are because of the circumcision. And Yahuwah said to El Ahran, Go into the wilderness to meet Moshe. And he went and met him in the mount of Elohim and kissed him. And Moshe told Ahran at all the words of Yahuwah who had sent him and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moshe and Ahran went and gathered together at all the elders of the children of Yasharel. And Ahran spoke at all the words which Yahuwah had spoken unto Moshe, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed. And when they heard that Yahuwah had visited at the children of Yasharel, and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped.